I just want to say real quick uh, in my last video that it was the Seattle Pilots that I was not sure about, but yes, it was the Brewers, uh, which the team became. And the, as the Seattle Pilots, they went bankrupt after one season obtaining a 64-98 and record, but yeah, we know them now as the Milwaukee Brewers. Anyways, this is part two of six. Uh, let's get this underway. I collected a lot of, quite a few Expos cards uh, over the past few months. Uh, anyways, this is Jack Billingham. He was a pitcher of the Expos, their inaugural season. He is card number 92. <clears throat> um... Next, we have Cisco Carlos of the Chicago White Sox. He was a pitcher back in 1969. He is card number 54. That's him. Dave Moorhead, pitcher of the Kansas City Royals. I believe that was their first year of existence as well. He is card number 29. <clears throat> and then we have Clay Carroll of the Cincinnati Reds. He was a pitcher for the Reds. Uh, that was actually their first... When when the uh, they started getting good because they were like the team of the seventies, so um, I don't know if he stuck around or not. But he is card number twenty six. Yeah, it's him. Don't know if you guys remember this guy. Uh, this is his rookie card of Rick Monday, outfielder of the Oakland Athletics. Um. Yeah, his rookie card. Um, he is card number 105. 105. Um, I believe, I can't remember what team he was playing for, but in 1976, uh, he was playing against the Cubs. I think he was on the Dodgers. Don't quote me on that, but um, they were playing at Wrigley Field, and somebody... Like, a couple people ran out onto the field and tried to burn the American flag, and he stopped it. And, uh, I don't know, it was, like, one of the most memorable mo memorable moments in of uh, Wrigley Field that took place. But, um, onward. Roger Repose, outfielder of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. He was an outfielder. Uh, his card number is number 103. And that's him. By, by the way, uh, <clears throat> just type in, you just have to type in Rick Monday. And you'll see the video footage of him uh, saving the American flag. So I've seen it a couple, quite a few times. So uh, Next we have Dave Juicy. Gusty, I'm, I'm, I don't know what kind of name is, that is, um, I, I, Justy, uh, of the San Diego Padres, he was a pitcher for them back in 1969, his card number is 98, and that's him, Dick Schofield, Infielder for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, he is card number 18. He played for the Pirates. I hope that, uh... I hope that isn't on the card. Ugh. Oh well. I'll just buy another one. Baltimore fans. 
you should remember this gentleman, Boog Powell. He uh, played first base back in 1969. In fact, I think he played for uh, the Orioles his entire career. And you, something you don't see too much throughout history, let alone today. Excuse me. He is card number 15. And it says that is in near mint condition. So, I believe I paid like 15 bucks for that, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways. Last but not least, we have Tommy Helms of the Cincinnati Reds, he, who played second base uh, back in 1969. And he is card number 70. And that wraps up part two of this six-parter video, or series of videos. I thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next time. Peace and chicken grease.